Part B. Steering and Sailing Rules. This part has three sections. Section 1 contains rules 4, 2, 10. Section 2 contains rules 11, 2, 18. And Section 3 contains rule 19. Section 1. Rule 4 states that rules in Section 1 apply in any condition of visibility. Rule 5 states the importance of proper lookout by sight and hearing. Rule 6 states that vessels must at all time proceed at a safe speed. Rule 7 states that every vessel should use all available methods to determine risk of collision. Risk of collision exists if the compass bearing of an approaching vessel does not change appreciably. Rule 8 states that any action taken to avoid collision shall be positive, made in ample time, with due regard to the observance of good seamanship, and be large enough to be readily apparent to another vessel, extra. Rule 9. Narrow Channels. This rule explains the conduct of vessels in a narrow channel, such as keeping to the starboard side of channel, fishing vessels not to impede the channel, extra. Rule 10. Traffic Separation Schemes. This rule outlines the conduct of vessels when using traffic separation schemes. In traffic separation schemes, all vessels should navigate in the general direction of traffic flow as marked by the traffic separation scheme. When crossing they should cross at right angles to the general direction of traffic flow and when joining the traffic separation scheme, they should merge with the general direction of traffic flow with as small an angle as possible. Section 2 conduct of vessels in sight of one another. Rule 11 states that the rules under section 2 apply to vessels in sight of one another. Rules 12 states the action to be taken when two sailing vessels approaching one another. Rule 13. When a vessel is overtaking another vessel, it is her duty to keep out of the way of the vessel being overtaken. An overtaking vessel cannot be considered as a crossing vessel. At night, this means the overtaking vessel can see only her stem light and not her side lights. Rule 14. When two power-driven vessels are meeting on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal courses shall alter her course to starboard so that each pass on the port side of the other. Rule 15. When two power-driven vessels are crossing the vessel which has the other on her own starboard side should alter course to starboard or slow down her speed or both in order to allow the other vessel to safely cross. At night this means that you are seeing the mast, headlights and the red side light. Rule 16, 17 and 18. Outline the action to be taken by 16, give way vessel, 17, stand on vessel and 18, the responsibilities between vessels respectively. Section 3. Conduct of vessels in restricted visibility. Rule 19. This rule outlines the conduct of vessels in restricted visibility, fog, mist, falling snow, heavy rainstorms, sandstorms, or any other similar conditions. In restricted visibility a vessel shall proceed at a safe speed. Keep her engines ready for immediate use and radar operational. Maintain a good all-round lookout.